I'm ready for somebody to call me not a woman. I'm ready for that. Be like, oh, she doesn't understand. All right. <clears throat> Three, two, one. My name is Shay T. Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And in today's video, this one won. <laughs> All right. So remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. Uh, there's no reason to hit a woman, right? I woke up Chris Breezy. Uh, okay, I'll be your residential black friend talking to the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, I'm ready. One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for The View, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers <laughs> Because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know <laughs> It's gonna fucking run, right? <laughs> How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for- Oh, fuck! Ah! Now I get it! Ups a daisy, sweetheart! Here we go! There you go! Oh! So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. <laughs> you could wake me from a drunken stupor. I could still give you like nine. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say this. There is. Oh, my God. Shay, think about your audience. There's plenty of reasons to hit somebody. That is a known fact. There's plenty of them. But my whole, my whole logic is this. If you don't put your hands on somebody, then you don't have to face those repercussions. A lot of that, that's the only thing I'm going to say. If you don't run up, you won't get done up, okay? Like, if everybody keep their hands to the goddamn self, we ain't gonna have no problems. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. <laughs> but to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your... You fucking guy in the head this week. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Every day. You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons <laughs> in that arc of a story. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, boom, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? <laughs> Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? Answer him! Answer him! Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. 
Jesus fucking Christ. I love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just interject and say that is very, very true. Right? I, I believe that you should hear all sides of the story before you come to a plausible conclusion. Like, because of the fact that the matter is. If it's a man and a man get into a fight, you want to know what the buildup is. If it's a woman and a woman get in a fight, you want to know what the buildup is. I want to know what the buildup is for a fight when it comes to a man and a woman. Because the fact of the matter is, I have seen so many situations where, where it the woman will be attacking the guy, actually physically assaulting the guy. The guy pushes her. Everybody's like, "Man, that ain't the right thing to do." Well, you didn't want to step in. You didn't want to step in here when this crazy broad was trying to kill me, but you want to step in right when I just tell her to don't don't push her away, get off me, or anything else. I like to hear all sides of the story and everything else because of the fact of the matter is, do I think men should hit women? No. Should I think women should hit men? No. If everybody kept their hands to their goddamn self, no problems would 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 occur. Okay. And and everybody that's in between, the in betweeners too, binary, non-binary, everybody who has hands no oh now i'm segregating against people who don't have hands everybody who has hands identify with hands don't have hands if everybody kept their nubs to themselves we won't have no damn problems <laughs> fucking unbelievable <laughs> look I understand hitting a woman is a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I get bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? <laughs> right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> how did this snake get so mad it almost killed you? <laughs> Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. <laughs> how did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging. All right? I mean, I, okay, okay, that's a, that's a dark joke. I don't know if I can say that one. But tune a casserole, who the fuck eats that? <laughs> I woke up Chris Breezy. I would be pissed too. I wouldn't hit nobody, but I'd be like, "This nigga was clearly lying." Bitch, you can't make nothing. Maybe I don't know. Is that a is that a non tan person thing to eat? I never had tuna casserole, but that just that sounds fucking disgusting. That is disgusting. If you're gonna just make a regular casserole, like like a beef casserole, a vegetable casserole, like, ew, ugh. I just imagine a tuna casserole just smelled like a bitch who didn't wash. Ugh. I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison. Okay. So if I can admit that. Ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? <laughs> you know what it is? Is every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? He <laughs> Or do you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, Oh, fuck all your friends! I don't give a fuck! <laughs> maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker! <gasps> right? <laughs> to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my 
my god, I'll bring my own! I'll bring my own! <laughs> oh, fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. Mm. You know? And I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. <laughs> this is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. Yes. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point yes. until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. Facts. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. <laughs> they go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head they just start concocting this <laughs> evil statement. <laughs> Totally designed this desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one. That's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? Facts. That is pure facts. And that's, I would always tell my male friends that if she cannot stay on point, if she cannot stay on point, if it goes from, if it goes from, oh, it's not the fact that the matter is that you're late. It's the fact that the matter is like you, you never have time for me. And you know, what, what about if we ever had kids and, and you're not going to have time for me because you're always at work and you're never talking to me and everything else. It's not about you coming home late. It's about some other issue. And then if you say, well, I'm coming home late because of the fact that the matter is you decided to buy this expensive ass fucking car that we couldn't afford. So I had to do extra hours. You argue that point. She will go rogue. I have seen that happen so many times and my friends fall for it. I said, bruh, just don't even, I said, right when she gets like that, don't even go forward with it because you're not, you're arguing facts. She's arguing emotions. And the thing is you can argue facts versus emotions. Emotions will always win in the sense of they get more explosive. They get more, they get more, I wouldn't say angry like angry they will get more passionate it comes out it's like it's not contained because for the fact you're you have to be contained around the fact emotions can go out and sling fucking everywhere so that's why i always try to tell my friends if you are dating a girl that's that fucking emotional you need to get the fuck out because i'm telling you she is gonna drain you fucking dry there you go and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> oh my God. That was Bill Burr. There's no reason to hit a woman. Like I said before, and I'll say it again. I'll be honest and upfront and serious and everything else. Not have I hit a woman. That does not sound good. Okay. Well, I have hit a woman. I have hit a man before. I, I, whatever. Anyway, what I would say is, out of all my years of learning these simple facts, if you keep your hands to yourself and they keep their hands to themselves, there will be no problems. Okay? Like, violence begets more violence. It's better to keep your hands to yourself and walk the fuck away. Okay. Why are you still here? Especially if you're a man. Walk away. There's no argument that's worth your freedom. And I, I'm telling you, the criminal justice system is biased in a motherfucker. So there's no way for you to fucking win this. Just fucking walk away if it's getting crazy. Why are you still here? Look what happened with Johnny Depp and Amber fucking Heard. It took him over five years to get his goddamn life back and he's still trying to get it back okay there you go now again my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short and like my grandmother always says so long them boys is trash by shooter i might just slide with my shooters clips about the size of a ruler with a new age jacuzzi
Catch a new body in my ring, my move up They be talking, but demos don't really do much I'm getting paid just for shitting on these losers With no way, Jacuzzi